Welcome to Hubbard Helps, a program that spotlights the people and organizations making a difference in Chicago. Now, here's your host, Rachel Kelso. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. The Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods sits on 565 acres in Lake County, Illinois, and connects visitors with nature through art and education. The local nonprofit works with over 200 artists and authors to engage members of the community of all ages and backgrounds, such as youth, veterans, and seniors. With us this morning is Catherine Game, Executive Director of the Brushwood Center. Catherine, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. So you're the Executive Director of the Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. What drew you to the center initially? Well, you can't help but be drawn to, to Brushwood Center. It is this amazing art and cultural institution in the middle of a 565 acre woodland. So it's really unique in that way. Um, but the mission of the organization is what I personally am really passionate about because we connect the arts with nature and well being, which turns out to be extremely important this year, um, even more than others as we're in the midst of the pandemic. Um, and trying to find new ways to get outside and engage with each other. What are the different programs that you offer, and who do these programs help? Well, we offer really three different programs. Our first program is focused on serving military veterans and their families. It's called At Ease, Art and Nature for Veterans. Um, And we've been facilitating this program for about six years, where we connect professional artists um, and photographers to teach classes in partnership with therapy programs um, for veterans across Lake and Cook counties. So we partner with the VA in North Chicago um, with their recreational therapy department at the Captain James A. Level Federal Healthcare Center to provide these programs at no charge to veterans. And so they learn how to use cameras, um, how to paint, different tools for creative expression for coping with the after effects of service and just the stress that comes with daily life. It can be really challenging, especially right now. Um, We also have a program for youth and families uh, from some of the lower income areas of Lake County. So really focusing on community partnerships and empowering kids and families through, um, through nature and the arts. We currently have a virtual program Uh, helping to connect kids in middle school and high school. It's a really tough time to be in remote learning right now. Um, We're hearing from a lot of students and families, feelings of isolation, depression. So whatever we can do to counter that is important. And we know that the health benefits of being outside, of being in nature, and of engaging in the arts can really be powerful tools um, and pathways to healing. So we work with a lot of community organizations um, to make that happen. The cool learning experience in Washington, the bilingual parent um, advisory committee in Round Lake, the uh, Lake County Family Services. Uh, we really count on those partnerships um, to, to be able to f- facilitate those. And then our last program area are our public programs, which are really open to anybody um, across the region. Typically, when we're not in a pandemic year, we host exhibitions and performances outside and inside. Brushwood Center is actually located in a historic building. We're on the National Registry of Historic Sites. So it's a really, really wonderful place to visit with your family, um, to explore. There's six and a half miles of trails. Currently, uh, because of the, the restrictions, all of our programs are being hosted virtually or through kind of hybrid experiences where you can learn about something online, but then actually visit it in person, visit the outdoor space. We are uh, currently featuring an exhibition by Erica Hilton called Tides, a Prelude, that explores uh, the issues of plastics in our ocean system. You know, there's so many issues with microplastics being so pervasive in our water systems, but her artwork really shares the beauty of water. And she actually uses tiny bits of plastic um, in her paintings to tell that story. It's really powerful. So that's kind of an overview of our program areas. And you touched on it a little bit, but 
How else has the COVID-19 pandemic affected the Brushwood Center? We, like so many natural areas across the region and across the nation, have seen huge upticks in visitation to our sites. So uh, Lake County Forest Preserves, who we partner with, has actually seen a 40% increase in visitation. We're seeing that so many people want to be outside, uh, especially knowing that it's safe, you know, that there's wide open spaces. We're seeing the value of nature for our, our health, particularly right now. Of course, there have been a lot of challenges, right, with, with both increased in visitation, but also having to move our programs online and, and to serve our community in the most effective way. You know, we're seeing a lot of families who are facing unemployment, kids who are struggling with remote learning, substance abuse, especially in the veterans community. So all of those challenges, you know, need to be met with community response and strength. And that's really what we're trying to do through our COVID-19 response. This is Hubbard Helps on Hubbard Radio Chicago. I'm Rachel Kelso. Today we're joined by Catherine Game, Executive Director of the Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. The Brushwood Center, which sits on 565 acres of Ryerson Woods in Lake County, connects nature, art, and healing for all who visit. So what are the benefits of spending time in nature, even when it's cold outside? It's true. It gets extra tricky um, right now in the Midwest with our weather, as it's snowing outside my window right now. But we know that even in the colder weather, it's really important to get outside, bundle up, of course, We know that just 20 minutes of contact with nature can lower stress hormone levels. Um, It's actually recommended that people spend at least two hours a week in some capacity. It can be broken up in different ways, but two hours a week outside in a natural setting. That could be in a park or in your garden or even looking out your window. There's a lot of different ways to take that in. But we're, we're seeing increased research that really shows the benefit, you know, not just for our mental health, but also for our physical health when we engage in physical activity outside. And this is particularly important for children and for young people whose access to the outdoors can reduce their risk of obesity and foster increased physical activity. And we also know that green spaces can really be important for demonstrating positive social emotional development and developing attention and focus. So there's countless reasons to get outside. Um, And there's some really beautiful spaces across the Chicago region too. Once you start looking, there are trail systems, you know, there's stunning natural areas. It may not be what Chicago is known for, uh, like the Western United States, but we, we do have a really robust system of parks and preserves that people can explore. What do you wish more people knew about the Brushwood Center and what makes it so special? I can tell you it's definitely a hidden gem um, in our region. And everyone who comes and experiences it are really blown away. I mean, even just the, the process of getting to Brushwood Center So we're just, uh, we're on the southern border of Lake County, and you, you know, if you're driving from the city, you're driving up the highway, we're just really five minutes off of the highway, you turn in, and it's like you've entered a different world. You know, you turn on the drive to Brushwood Center, it's this windy road with trees uh, covering, covering the drive, and especially right now in winter, it's beautiful, it looks like a fairy tale with all of the snow and and beauty. But then once you actually get out on the trails and you explore the exhibitions um, and the arts, you really start to see this connection between life. The the Bryerson Woods, where Brushwood Center is based, is a designated Illinois nature preserve. So that means that it's one of the highest quality um, ecosystems in the state of Illinois. And there's a lot of ecologists who put hours into making sure that that's Space is preserved and protected. We are also a hot spot for birding. So if any of uh, your listeners are really excited about birds, Ryerson Woods is one of the best places uh, in the region to see migratory bird species come through, especially in the spring and the fall when they are migrating north and south. So there's really so many reasons to come out uh, and explore 
We also, we work with more than 200 artists and authors and performers each year to engage um, various audiences. So we're always featuring local artists and national artists as well, but all who have a focus on the environment and nature. So it's a really great opportunity to bridge the sciences and the arts and to share that with, with your family. And what are the best ways for those listening to help the Brushwood Center? We would love for people to join the Brushwood Center family. You can visit us at www.brushwoodcenter.org and sign up for our email list, uh, make a donation to support our COVID-19 response, and engage in our programs. We would love to have you join us and partake in this connection between art and nature. And finally, what do you love most about being the executive director of the Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods? I absolutely love working for an organization that is making such an important difference in our community, working with uh, our critical partners, seeing on the ground these stories of strength that, um, that are really all across our county and our region. These are the stories that sometimes we don't hear in the media, you know, how people are coming together to support each other, how artists are being tools for healing in our community, how we're seeing so many different, different people bringing their strengths to the table during this crisis. And I think the last year has just been, you know, incredibly meaningful and inspirational in so much struggle to see the ways that our community has really come together. That's beautiful. Well, Catherine, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me this morning and for spotlighting the Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. It's really cool to learn about it. And I hope that this helps get more listeners out there and hopefully the pandemic ends soon so we can all resume back to normal operations. (laughs) Thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate this. Our guest this morning has been Catherine Game, Executive Director of the Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. For more information or to donate, visit www.brushwoodcenter.org. And that's our show this week. Thank you for listening. I'm Rachel Kelso. Hubbard Helps is powered by Hubbard Radio, making a difference in Chicago.